Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and I'm so excited for you to be here today. Um, I thought I would do a fun series through the month of December, 24 days of foundation. I am sure I'm not the first or the last person to do something like this, but I love complexion products and thought it would be a really fun way to work through and revisit some of the products that I have previously purchased that maybe get pushed aside when something new launches or when something else takes um, a holy grail spot. So we'll go ahead today and get started with our day one of 24 days of foundation in the month of December. And someone, a foundation that I thought I would try out or revisit is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Um, this blew up when it first came out and I purchased it. I think I used it twice and then it went into um, my drawer of foundations. So thought it'd be fun to kick off with something that I haven't tried in a really long time. Um, I love Hourglass as a whole and thought it would be a good way to kick off this uh, series. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've zoomed you in here a little bit so you can take a look at my skin. I have my skin prep on, which is the Charlotte Tilbury um, UV primer, the sunscreen primer, and then also the Charlotte Tilbury water cream. I'll zoom you back out just so you're not looking at me from eyebrows up here in just a second. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started with applying foundation first. To apply my foundation today, I'm going to use a BK Beauty 101. This is a brand new one, so I'm excited to have a new brush. Um, shake this up because it's been a while since I've used it. And then we'll just wear this foundation all day and I'll do my very best to do a check-in. I'm gonna do like one and a half-ish pumps. It's probably a little too much. Um, start dabbing it on here. I don't think this shade is the best shade for me, which is a, probably a reason why um, I haven't used it a ton. It seems a little yellow or a little orangey for me, but We'll make it work. I have some other Hourglass favorites here with me um, today. Since we're doing an Hourglass foundation, thought I'd pull out some other Hourglass favorites to go along with it. Um, I'm training for a half marathon right now and I've been running quite a bit and I seem to break out a little bit where I get pretty sweaty. <laughs> So, and get like almost like eczema or like dry skin-ish. Like if I'm really good about exfoliating, then uh, I can kind of keep it at bay. But it's like right here in my temples, there's a lot of redness, a lot of dryness. Some like really, really surface level breakouts or bumps. Again, it's almost like eczema. It's not really like breakouts, breakouts, but gotta try to conceal that. And it's probably not going anywhere since I am running quite a bit. All right. I love this brush. It blends my foundation so quickly. It's kind of just making sure that's all pressed in, all blended in. And again, this is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is the shade 4.5, since I forgot to mention that. 4.5 is the shade that I'm using today. And then I dampened a sponge before I came in here. So let me just press it in with a sponge here. And then let me pull up a little bit more about this foundation since we are doing 24 days of foundation. Let's get the full story here. So this foundation retails for $58. It looks like it's available in a lot of shades. I'm not gonna count those. Three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 22, 23, 24, 25. 32 shades is what I see on Sephora, so I'm not gonna count it as I sit here and count it. 32 shades available on the Sephora website. Sometimes the Hourglass or sometimes the brand website has a few additional shades um, available, but that's what I see on Sephora again. Um, retails for $58. You get one fluid ounce of product. It's vegan, long wearing, natural finish, medium coverage, liquid formula, obviously. 
and it says it's a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. So kind of playing off of their diffused light powders, I'm guessing. Um, I would definitely say medium to full coverage, if I'm being honest. Maybe I applied a little much, but I'm getting like medium to full. Medium is what I prefer, light to medium. I used to be a full coverage girly, not so much anymore. Light diffusing pigments deliver a natural soft focus finish, help protect against blue light, blurring spheres, minimize the look of imperfections, fine lines, wrinkles, white tea extract, vitamin E, and antioxidants. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it. Inspired by the iconic ambient lighting collection, which of course is iconic for Hourglass. Um, I thought this foundation was a little heavy on me when I first used it. Again, maybe the shade match is what it is, but um, I wasn't a massive fan because I did think it looked a little heavy, uh, but we'll just see how this wears today. It almost kind of like clung to dry spots too, and I'm not super dry. like. Um, my skin type is normal to dry, I would say. I'm 35 years old. Um, I live in the desert, so I live in a dry climate. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. I do Botox. Filler on my lips. Haven't done Botox in a while. All right, so keeping in the Hourglass theme, I'm going to also use the Hourglass... Um, what is this? The Vanish Veil, I believe. Vanish Veil Concealer. This is in the shade Birch. It's pretty light, especially compared to the foundation, but that's okay. Um, we're going to blend this in with an Angie Hot and Flashy BK Beauty A506 Concealer Brush. So we'll use this today, and then I will likely go in with um, my sponge after to kind of soak up some of this product because I forgot how full coverage this concealer is. <laughs> and it is so light compared to this foundation. Okay, we'll need to do a little, a little correcting here. I love makeup. I don't claim to be the best at makeup. <laughs> I used to be a lot better before I was a mom and I could spend more time um, playing around, doing different looks, but I mean, you definitely uh, lose it if you don't use it, I would say, and I apologize, I'm looking over here in my mirror um, while trying to get ready. But I would say that I definitely used to be better at like finding a look, being able to recreate. Now I do a lot of like one and done shadows, quick looks, but where I can look like, you know, semi glam or really made up for the day. All right, let's, we're gonna have to. Ooh. This was not the intended, the intended look today. I do have a light in front of me and I'll turn that down here in just a moment before we do powder and anything else. Only because my natural light, my window is over here on my left. So um, I need something on the right to kind of correct the shadow that I get from the side. All right, there we go. Sponge soaked up a little bit and then we'll deepen with some bronzer. Let me turn my light down here. That's not what I wanna do. There we go. And zoom you in. Foundation plus concealer, both Hourglass products. Definitely a little bit too bright on the under eye. All right, I will be right back here with the light back on. Alrighty, so zooming you back out here really quick. I After I blended out my concealer, I just threw on a little Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Medium. So I just did that around the perimeter of my face, used this as my cream bronzer. I also threw on a little Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in the shade Petal. This is the little like travel size 
version. So I threw that as my cream blush on and then I couldn't stand my concealer lips. So I threw on a little Charlotte Tilbury Live It Up. It's my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick shade. And then I cannot stop using the Chanel um, Quad in 226 to say Ravole. And I just used this shade right here really quick in the crease. I've been using that to just deepen up. It's a little shimmery. It's really pretty, I think, for fall, winter. So that's all I put on really quick. And then I just need to powder and use my powder, powder products. And I thought um, we could do that together. So I grabbed, I have a ton of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder Travel sizes that I want to work through because they just eat up space in my powder um, drawer. So let me go ahead and this one's almost gone, but throwing a little bit of this into the cap and then going to use the hourglass, um, dual ended. I think it's like a powder and bronzer brush maybe, but uh, I'm going to throw this underneath the eyes where I put concealer essentially is everywhere that I will powder down my nose. My little folds and then right underneath my cream bronzer just to set the face here um but the foundation definitely kind of set itself it, it wasn't feeling tacky or anything crazy Go down the nose and then onto the forehead just to prevent any creasing All right, so just right under here, under the eyes. Perfect. So again, that was the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous powder. It was my powder is my holy grail for a very, very long time. Um, I already showed you the Makeup by Mario. I showed you the blush stick. I showed you the lipstick. To do the bronzer, I did use a BK Beauty 106, and then I also used this brush for the um, cream blush. And then let's go in with the Hourglass Snake Palette for my powder bronzer and my powder blush. I'm going to use this more glowy shade right here, I think for my powder bronzer, or maybe like do a little mix of these two. And then I'm gonna go in with I think this shade here for my blush. So let me go ahead and zoom you out here a little bit. Same dual ended hourglass brush here for the bronzer. I'm going into both of those bronzer shades, tapping or brushing off, going around the perimeter of my face. Anywhere that I put the Makeup by Mario cream, bronzer and then on the sides of my nose, little faux no nose contour. All right. So very light dusting of those bronzers here. Into the hairline. And then let me see if I have a Blush, brush, I don't think I do. Okay, same blush, same brush. Gonna go into that like more corally orangey blush shade that's here in the corner. Tap off just in case. And blend that right into the bronzer. That looks more pigmented on camera than it does in person. Okay. Maybe it's my light. And let me turn down my light a little bit. There we go. I am a blush lover. Okay, that gives a nice glow. Back in with the setting powder side. Mm. 
Okay. I don't have a highlighter. I'm not going to use a highlighter because the blush is kind of glowy. That's really it. I'm going to try to keep it more minimal, but I did want to give a good base of like what I would normally do for with my makeup. If, like I don't want to do just foundation how I wouldn't normally do my makeup. I don't think that's fair if I don't do what I would normally do. So I'm going to throw on a little Kosas Air Brow Setting Brow Powder here. Just gonna brush this through my brows, feeling a little lazy, don't wanna grab my pencil. Honestly, it's just in another room right now. This is a quick and easy way to get the brows done. Kinda fluff them up, give them a little color. If you're looking for a good tinted brow gel, the Kosas Brow Gel, I think the air brow is really nice. Uh, the color is true to what it says it is. And again, it's easy if you don't have like super sparse brows to just kind of make them look a little fuller and get the hold. All right, so brows are on. And then mascara that I've been loving lately is the Give Beauty um, Can't Stop Staring Mascara. So this is the mascara I'm gonna to use today. This is what the wand looks like. Grab my mirror over here. All right, I won't make you guys sit through put me putting on mascara, but let me put my mascara on and then we'll be right back to wrap up this video. Alrighty friends, so mascara is on, face is done. Of course, the whole pur purpose of this video is to test out once again, the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation, and we're gonna give it a good shot today. Um, I have not decided if I'm going to just update you in tomorrow's video how I ended up feeling about the foundation at the end of the day or if I'll try to do check-ins. I just don't know if I can be consistent with check-ins on every single one of these 24 days of foundation, but we'll try. Um, and if I can do foundations, obviously I'll, or check-ins, I'll obviously put them into this video, but I think what I'll do for sure is on the next day, um, so for tomorrow's video, I will give you an update on how I felt like the foundation wore um, throughout the day. And of course I'll try to keep you updated if anything changes like in my skin in the next month. We're starting to get a little cooler here in Arizona. So sometimes my skin will be a little drier, but um, yeah, so this is what it looks like finished look today with everything on. Most of the face um, or a big chunk of the face is hourglass and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this is a good, good series, but day one is done and we'll see what's up for tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down, to, down below, ring the notification bell if you're interested in seeing other videos from me. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye. Okay, so foundation has been on for a couple of hours. I'm standing outside in natural daylight. Thought I would just give you guys a quick look. Everything right now to me looks pretty good. I just feel like it does emphasize texture some. There's some direct sunlight. But overall, it looks good and thought I'd do a quick check-in. Okay, so a final check-in here for the day. Little wearing off here. I just feel like this is not doing my skin any favors. My skin has been a little bit more textured. I've been bad about my skincare. I, like I said, I've been training for a half, so um, like sweating more, need to be better about washing my face after, but I feel like I have more blurring foundations. Overall, like if I face the, my main bathroom lights, like you can see some wearing off here. Um, not terrible, not great. This lighting is doing me no favors. <laughs> you can see a lot of texture here. So yeah, day one of 24 days of foundation is done and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.